I just unlocked some AI secrets that flipped everything we knew about ChatGPT versus Gemini. I push both tools to their limits with video transcripts and trust me, you'll want to see this. There's no sponsors here, just real testing from an ex Apple engineer who needed answers. What I want to do is gonna to go to the platform.openai.com. So this is the playground in which you can actually do stuff with. And if you go to playground, uh, this is like basically like a chat GPT, but for open AI. And this is how we're gonna test these models. So I'm gonna use the 01 uh, GPT-40 mini. And then I'm gonna say the max tokens, I'm gonna to bump it up to like 1600, 1600. Cause I don't think I need that much for the return. And then this is the temperature. I want it to be, let's start off with zero. Cause I think accuracy is really important. And so, okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm hitting this little star button. So the star button will basically generate a prompt for us that will work well for what our task is. So. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, create. I'm gonna copy this real quick. Cause sometimes this gets out of hand. So what it's gonna go ahead and do is gonna generate a system prompt for us. Now we have the system message to extract themes. So we hit generate. So when hitting generate with this like vague prompt, it actually generates a more like longer system message for us. So now it actually, this is a really good system message. Like this is pretty fire. So um, I think extract themes on topics from YouTube transcripts for use in learning application covering snippets ranging from 30 to three minutes high. The aim would be to provide a comprehensive list of topics that caters both beginners and experts. So here are the actual snippets here. Um, we may be able to just give this straight to Google Gemini, but I'm gonna show you how we do this, okay? So um, input transcript, a brief portion of your YouTube transcript, and then the output. So I'm gonna just go ahead and leave this here. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go back to my app and say download that .srt file. And so the .srt file, what this is, is basically uh, a breakdown of all of like the entire transcript. So this is like 44 minutes. Uh, and this is uh, done with all the different files there. So within here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste this whole thing here and go back to the platform. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and enter this transcript. Let's say, um, here is the transcript. Oh, I know why. <laughs> because I have such a long context window in this video file, it's freaking out. Okay. And I should just hit run and it should just cook. I hope. I don't think it's gonna take that long. If not, I'll have to do like oh one. one Okay, cool. Wow. This is awesome. Okay. So the assistant comes back. I should have just did response format JSON object or JSON scheme. Um, and so it would give us this JSON back. So it's telling us the time range for these types of themes. So this is how powerful these AI models are, right? I gave it that long 44 minute thing and it's already telling us like introduction to AI tools, whisper box overview, AI tool benefits. And then like, so these are the themes that it's extracted here. And then the, even telling us the complexity level, whether it's a beginner, whether it's an intermediate, uh, and even tells us a summary of what's going on between these clips and segments. Isn't this crazy? Like this is absolute bonkers, right? The fact that it's able to do this from these transcripts. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna create a new prompt and we're gonna follow the same system instructions that we gave to OpenAI so we can test this out real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this and put into AI Studio. So that's the instructions that we want for this transcript. Now we're gonna just grab the transcript. And so I'm gonna scroll down. I should just be able to copy it just by going to the copy button. So the assistant is still running and it's probably airing out. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my file here and then I'm just gonna go to Google and paste that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and say here, here is my transcript. And then I'm gonna select the new Gemini Flash Thinking Experimental which is their new thinking model and it could do up to a million tokens. And then uh, I'm gonna set the temperature to zero and then any advanced settings, nope, okay, uh, okay. And then paste this in, I'm gonna hit run and we're gonna see how fast this runs. Uh, you see it's airing out. So what happens is sometimes when you paste in a lot of, of stuff in the file, bro. Dude, 
dude, Google. <laughs> Bro, see, this is why we select different models, my friends. Look at it's cooking. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Dude, Gemini. Gemini is a baddie. I'm telling you. See, this is why you need to try different models. <laughs> so the whole thing is 63,000 tokens out of a million. And we're still cooking. Bro, OpenAI over here is like, yo, I kind of gave it to you, but if you really want more, you got to pay up. Bro, I feel like I'm talking to a mob boss right now with OpenAI. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, like this is the second time I ran it. It didn't even give me the results I wanted, right? Like it only went to 45 seconds. It could just be hallucinating all of those. I don't even know. This is 03 mini, the high, the one that scored all the, all the highest on all those benchmarks. See, this is why it's important to test all the different models. And in my experience, Gemini, Google, I mean, I've been like realizing this for the past like half a year. Look at how it cooks, right? Sheesh, sheesh, it's still going. Let's go make it rain. Come on, Google, make it rain tokens. <laughs> 49 seconds. It came up with all of this. 49 seconds. Do you see how much we cooked? We cooked fam. So I have Gemini 1.5 Pro. And what I can do is I can drag in that exact file that I got from that, you know, 44 minute um, live stream and put it in here. And so what it does is analyzes the context and it basically generates the timestamps on the fly. It streams them in as it's going, which is really, really cool. And so this is basically the timestamps for that live stream I did for, and it has everything all day and down. Isn't that crazy, right? Like it's, it's, it's so good. And the, re and the reason why I was able to determine that Gemini has the best one is because I tried Clots on it. I tried OpenAI, I tried all the different models and the 1.5 Pro is literally like the best one. And so apparently the, the new Gemini 2.0 Pro Experimental 0205 is, <laughs> is supposed to be equivalent. I know, I don't even know where they get the names for these types of things, but that's kind of what's up. So um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what we're doing here. And so I think this did the same approach. It just didn't tell us it's thinking because uh, it's not really a thinking model. It's, it's kind of like this other type of model. Um, so uh, yeah, so doing this, by the way, in AI studio is free. So any of this prompting stuff that I'm doing doesn't cost me any money. Um, if I'm running this in the platform.openai, it's going to cost me money for whatever the rate is that they give me. Doing this in the AI studio for Google, free. So if you want to go crazy, go free if you're in here. <laughs> yeah, um, we haven't even talked about streaming real time or any starter apps and stuff that are here on the side, but this is what's up. Uh, zero to 30 seconds. I'm not sponsored, by the way, by any one of these companies. This is completely me, Ray Fernando, independently. Um, I'm, I'm basically kind of doing this for me because I'm trying to learn how to code with AI and do these types of things. I'm sharing it back. I used to be an engineer at Apple for 12 years and now I'm basically on my own. So uh, this is the output I kind of like this output too. Yeah. Google Gemini is on par uh, with this type of stuff. And you see how long it takes us to process this stuff, like upwards of, you know, I think the shortest time I saw was 49 seconds. We're talking about like 80 seconds or so exactly here. So here's the refined prompt and markdown. All you have to do is hit this little copy button. And this is the button that you'll basically use to then paste it into the developer message here with OpenAI. So if you're going to be working with this, when you go to rayfernando.ai, um, you can go to the refined prompt markdown and just hit copy. Um, this just shows you what it looks like when it's formatted. Part of the reason why I like working with Notion is because you're actually directly working with markdown, whether you realize it or not. And it just so happens that these large language models are extremely good at understanding this concept of markdown. So with markdown and this language, there's a hierarchy, right? So there's like the, the top level thing, which is what you see the header. And then there's these subtopics and all these types of things. So you can actually think about giving instructions to a language model like the OpenAI or Gemini uh, following this structure and it'll actually be really good at following it. So that's sometimes better than just giving it a blob of a paragraph uh, because you know that paragraph it may or may not understand what you're trying to do. And that's part of the reason why we use platform.openai and we hit the generate button. So the generate button took that big blob of text that we had originally, which was up here for our first prompt. This is what we wrote out. We know this just a stream of thought. This is what I want. But then in platform.openai with generate, do you see what it generated? It generated the markdown for us. It generated that structure that these language models need so that we can get the output that we want. 
And let's just kind of break this down a little bit. So you see it says the steps. It told the language model what steps to follow once you receive this information. And then it even tells it what the output format is. So when you give me the output, these are the most important things you need to give me. And here's an example. And just by doing that, along with any other notes, it helps it completely figure out what to do. Uh, and this basically makes it repeatable. Um, we haven't got into other things like evaluations and stuff, and I don't want to confuse you, but I feel like just this first step will help you tremendously to get the amount of things you want to get out from these like language models. So I think that's kind of going to be a good start for you to do um, when you're when you're playing around with this AI system. So um, yeah, that's kind of what we're dealing with. This, this is like a crazy thick topic, but um, I think this doesn't really require code, which is great. So I want, I want to encourage you to experiment and play around with what your ideas are and what we're going to extract. You won't believe how fast AI is changing. And that's why I break down the most important updates every single week. No fluff, just what matters in your life. I'm Ray Fernando, and this channel is where AI meets real life. Share your thoughts below because I read every single comment to pick the topics for next week. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because next week we got something even bigger. See you in the live streams.